Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you several ways to master the Metro UI if you already don't know how to use it. This video will be broken up into seven segments. I'm trying a new format out today, which is hopefully going to be um, better than the last video that I made in the series. So let me know what you guys think and let's get started. So Windows new Metro apps aim to be simpler than the old Windows 7 style applications. This means that there are no more menus, complex toolbars, or other interface standards. Usually there will be a few options available if you right click on one of the apps and you look at the bottom of the screen. So if you're not sure what to do, you can just right click on those and view the different options down at the bottom of the screen or you can just hit the Windows button in Z on any blank part of the screen to view all your apps. After using the Metro apps for a while, you'll realize that hitting the Windows key will allow you to switch back to the start screen quicker. So when there's an application open, if you just hit the Windows key, it'll bring you back to the start menu. Your app will still remain running while you do this. Since there is no taskbar in the Metro UI, you might be wondering how you can view these apps while they're running. And in order to see these apps, all you have to do is move your mouse to the upper left hand side of the screen and you can see this little toolbar or this little thumbnail pop up right here and then just take your mouse and move downwards and it will open up all of your applications on the left side here. If you have a keyboard, you can also hit Alt plus the Tab key, and that'll show you what um, programs you're running right here in a little uh, scrolling bar fashion. And if you hit Control Shift Escape, you can also see what um, applications are running on the Task Manager. So as you can see right here, it shows what applications I have open. Now Metro apps usually don't have closed buttons when you actually have them opened. The apps are suspended when you're switching to something else so your computer isn't really straining to keep multiple apps open at once. If your computer needs additional resources, it's going to automatically close these applications. So don't be surprised if you're using a program that requires intensive CPU that your apps may get shut down automatically. But if you want to close an app, you simply just navigate to the left hand side of the screen again where we found our applications. And you can either right click and click close on an application and that'll physically close one of them. So if I right click on people, I can click close and it, as you can see it closes it out. You can also use the arrow keys on your um, keyboard and use the up and down arrow keys to navigate through and you can just hit delete and it will automatically close the program as well. Now if that method is too much of a hassle when you have an application open you can just hit Alt and F4 and that will automatically close the program and as you can see now it's not open anymore up here. So those are a few ways that you can close apps quickly and efficiently. Metro apps don't always work the same way that their Windows 7 counterparts did in the past. So if we take Internet Explorer for example, when you go ahead and launch this app, it's going to pop up here and you're going to come across an Internet Explorer that has no toolbars or anything. It just has this simple um, interface, user interface. So if we want to see those certain options and um, utilities, if you just right click on any part of the page on Internet Explorer, as you can see at the top, it's going to pop up with different windows that you have open. And at the bottom here, you have an option for page tools. You have an option to pin this certain website to your um, start bar and you have the option just to refresh the current web page that you're on. And if all else fails and you don't like the way that the Internet Explorer application works, you can simply just open up the classic Internet Explorer from the desktop like you would in Windows 7.
Metro apps are what Microsoft call immersive applications, which basically means that they run full screen, but there's always a way to view two of them at once. So if we navigate to our desktop here, if we go up to the left-hand corner of our screen and view the programs that we're running, or applications that we're running, take photos for instance, if you click on it and drag, and drag it to the left-hand side of your screen, it comes up with this side panel that you can drop it in. So if we just let go and drop it into that side panel, now you can see that I've created a, a side panel that shares the screen with that Photos app and with my desktop. Now this is a cool feature because you could technically have one application open on the left hand side and one open on the right and still have your desktop in the middle and it could potentially increase your productivity. Uninstalling applications is simple and easy on Windows 8. All you need to do is right click on one of them and down at the bottom of the screen it gives you an option to uninstall them. And after you've explored all of these default applications that are already on the Metro UI, you can navigate to the Windows 8 store. And this will provide easy access to around 70 or more games, videos, and music apps, as well as photo tools and more. And while this is obviously only a small selection of applications, Windows, the Windows 8 is still in its beta form. It's not releasing until after this summer. So for the amount of applications it has right now, it's pretty good. Experienced users may be a little upset to find out that their favorite Windows tools are buried inside Windows 8 and Microsoft provides a simple way to access these tools. So if you open up your Metro interface and go over to the right hand side of your screen and open up this sidebar, if you click on settings and then click on tiles up here at the top, you can choose to show these administrative tools by just sliding this bar over to the right. And now if you simply just click on the Metro UI and right click and click all apps, you can see that it added these right here into your applications as well as directly on your Metro user interface. So you don't have to go and search for them every single time to access these. Alright guys, this was the second in a series of seven videos showing how to use Windows 8 and I'm still trying to figure out what kind of format I want to use for this series. So if you liked my first video, you can tell me below or if you haven't checked it out, I can put it up on the screen right now. And if you like the second format better, you can also give me your opinion on that. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later.